Hi everyone, welcome back to Forgotten Waters. Well, when we last saw the Rosinante, we had just discovered the identity of the turncoat. The king's penguin flip-flops was uh, being hidden on an island called Havarti, and we now know that that is up in the corner here. We have a new objective, find flip-flops. We only have two threat to do this, and some things have been crossed off as part of kind of setup for part two, all of the things that we found and didn't quite get to investigate, crossed off now, Captain's Quarter is, is no longer locked. Uh, the threat events, though, we only got one in our run through part one, but two more have been crossed off. So we've only got basically one more chance at uh, a threat event happening. That is when the threat will fill up with two or more and then we're asked to check the threat that will trigger a threat event. So if we get two of those, we're going to lose and uh, some captain's quarters and missions have been crossed out. Got some new tokens in the navigation deck. We're basically going to try and uh, find this thing out. So the app is now asking us to move to a new space, and so we might as well head towards 961. We're, we're in a bit of a better state than we were in our last adventure. But let's see what happens. In, in our limited experience so far, part two is shorter than part one, but uh, in case... I thought I'd leave it as a separate thing in case it ends up as this enormous thing. Uh, but also, I just fancied setting it up again and uh, playing through uh, some more. Uh, see uh, what uh, becomes of Dusty Sequence. So we're going to go over here and let's see what we find. wonder if it'll be one of the new ones. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. I can't remember if that was one of the ones that we put back in there. So we're going to press nine. Yaw. Merchant vessel! Cries the lookout. Indeed, you see a bumblebee delivery ship, taking on water, foundering in the waves. It's an ideal mark, the first mate says. It'll be rough going, but that'll make him even less prepared. Prepare to intercept! So, we need to remove this from the game, and... Oh, hole minus one. That's okay. Good job I picked that. If I hadn't picked that, we'd have lost the game right there. So, dial A goes to four, and we need to go to page 53. Okay then, so... Boarded ship. A cornered crew is a dangerous crew. We've got to take out their crew before they do the same to us. And so we've been in this situation before, haven't we, a little bit? So straight away, you know, <laughs> meet with that swagger. We are going to parlay. And then maybe fight the enemy crew. Try and loot the cannons, perhaps. Hmm, do we want to... The crew is at six. Maybe we want to try and recruit crew. That involves swagger as well. Try and loot their cannons and... In case parlay doesn't work, we'll fight the enemy crew. I believe this. <laughs> this is probably my just configuration for boarding a ship. So that's what we're going to go for. So first up is going to be parlay. It's been a while, so in case you've forgotten, we can increase our swagger. Uh, we can't, though, because normally you would have the opportunity to, but we haven't got any supplies. In a solo or two-player game, you need to spend a supply every time you increase your skill. I'm not going to go through the entire uh, rules again, uh, but the higher we roll, the better the result with this. And I do have a lot of swagger, even if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, I have no reroll tokens, though. I do have that fancy disguise. Uh, before performing a swagger check, you can discard a reroll token to add four to your result. But I do have swagger six, seven, eight. Eight. So I can add eight to my roll, and with an 11 or more, I get what I'm assuming is the best entry. So hopefully I can roll a three or more. Ten, that'll do me. So that is entry 505. Your negotiations go much better than anyone expected. Okay, so we can stop boarding the ship, and we get some supplies and treasure. But then we just skip the whole rest of the round. Or we reject the offer and just carry on as normal. I would kind of like, you know, some cannon parts and stuff. I was hoping for something uh, different to happen with the parlay there. The only worry I have is that the hull is only at three. And with fighting and stuff, if that keeps going down, it could end up really bad for us. And I don't have reroll tokens or anything. I think we're just going to accept that. We're going to get supplies plus four, uh, treasure plus one. So the treasure is a golden flask. After resolving an action that one or more other players have or will resolve this round, you may steal a treasure from one of those players. Well, I don't care about having that, but I will gladly take a supply. And so, <laughs> again, we're never going to get to see any of these with me and my parlaying. We, yeah, we skip all of our actions and go to round end, which is 825. So reduce whole crew... Oh, I was supposed to 
put to dial A down to zero, so we don't lose anything. And uh, highest infamy player moves the ship one space. And yeah, we're going to go to another random space, I guess. Let's see what we find there. So it's going to be number six we're moving on to. Six ER. Crossroads event, a very big gun. So this would be the person with the highest swagger. Even in a multiplayer game, I've, I've got a good chance that would be me. Bumblebee delivery service! Shouts the lookout, and the ship springs to life. Hold! Shouts Bert Buttons. Eyes to the enemy's prow! Everyone runs to the rails, and sure enough, you see a massive cannon attached to the ship's deck. Good eyes, Bert! You say, I've never seen a gun like that. Reckon it's experimental. Perhaps. He says. What do you say? Plunder or pass? Okay, so I absolutely want to go and plunder that weapon. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm wary that we're going to be the victim of that weapon with only three hull left on the track. According to the Botson, we've got to try, haven't we? To hell with their gun! You shout, and the crew joins you. You swoop in on the merchant vessel and, after a single round of cannon fire, are delighted to discover that the giant gun is, in fact, a dummy made of scrap metal. Oh, that's a, that's a nice result. So get rid of that swagger plus one, which I will take. We've got the supplies to do it. So my swagger is swagger at max now. Seven just on uh, my thespian pirate. I can't discard a reroll token, so we want to turn with, with boarding another ship straight away. Okay, then so dial A goes back to four. Uh, I'm going to go for the same configuration. Uh, we could try and skip parlay and just have a load of us fight and hope to reduce the dial that way. But no, I'm, I'm going to go on the exact same things. Loot cannons. There we go, and some fighting. If you, can, if you can loot the cannons, I know this from experience in other scenarios. I don't know if it would be different in this particular uh, dead or alive scenario, but you can end up with like a level four cannon for free which adds nine to your roll, I believe. Amazing stuff. And then it's there. You can just keep reloading it. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, again. So parlay, I won't uh, zoom in again. We can't gain a swagger because we are at max already. So that's seven, eight, nine swagger. So I only need to roll a two or more. Uh, there we go, a five. That puts me on entry 505 again. Uh, well, boss? The drooling fool of a first mate says to his captain. We got wall up this time, no doubt about it, but... At least they don't know about the treasure we hid in the brig. The other captain <laughs> groans, and you signal one of your crew to go look. Okay, so we can either stop boarding the ship. Uh, yeah, it seems like a no-brainer. Get some hull and some supplies and some treasure. Or we increase discontent and carry on the round. I'm going to take the stuff. So hull plus two, supplies plus three, and a treasure. And so the treasure is a summoning stone... Discard to gain crew plus two or supplies plus two. But to gain that, I would have to discard one of my other treasures first and then choose to discard this. So I'm just going to lose this for a supplies right now. Then dial A to zero and again, completely skip the rest of the round. So 825 again. So reduce the hull by nothing because the dial's been set to zero and we just uh, move the ship a space. So let's go to Harvati. Nine, six, one, yeah. Is Objective Card 11 in play? Yes. The waters around Port Havarti are absolutely crowded with anchored ships. Well, I've never seen it this crowded before, says a puzzled gouty Joe. Why are so many folks trying to visit this ruined dump? You're unable to get near the docks, so you anchor snugly in between some other ships and order the crew to bring the turncoat above deck. The past few days have not been kind to her, and she shields her eyes from the sunlight. Okay, turncoat, snarls the first mate. Where do we go to find flip-flops? He's over there. She sighs and waves to a neighboring ship. There's motion on the other ship, and suddenly a plank extends from it and settles on your starboard railing. Hold! Cries Johnson when the crew moves to remove the plank. And then she twists away from the pirates guarding her and leaping up, dashes across the plank. Hey, she can't do that! Wally Man insists. Can she? More planks begin to extend out toward your ship. Cloaked figures begin to step onto the planks, and Johnson whirls around when she reaches the other side. Arm yourselves! 
The quartermaster cries to the crew. It's a setup! The first mate yells at Johnson in triumph. You're too late, turncoat! Behold, the Grand Pirate Council comes for you! And lo, a small fleet bearing the sign of the Council comes into view. It looks like every member of the Council has come to exact vengeance. And Johnson laughs long and hard at this. The cloaked figures on the planks throw off their coverings, revealing uniforms of the Royal Navy. And all throughout the waters, the ships that are anchored around you unfurl their sails. And on each one, the royal flag of Mont is raised high. What the? Who the blazes are you? The first mate screams. Geraldine Phillips. She calls back proudly. Pirate hunter extraordinaire. Thank you for delivering the Grand Pirate Council to us. <laughs> she laughs from aboard the other ship. I wasn't sure how to orchestrate it, but you did it all for me. Once I knew who you thought I was, it was all too easy. Sails! Calls the bosun as cannons begin firing at the approaching pirate fleet. Your ship begins to part from Calhoun-turned-Johnson-turned-Phillips's new ship, sending planks and royal sailors to the water below. You'll never escape! She cries. Your ship weaves to the crowded waters of the port. As all around you, cannonballs begin whistling overhead or punching through neighboring vessels. A fiery explosion bursts from a nearby ship, showering you in deadly wooden projectiles. But when the smoke clears, you are delighted to find the deck covered in useful provisions. Sailors, to me! The quartermaster calls and begins ordering the supplies carted off. You just begin to get clear of the chaos and bloodshed when Phillips' ship overtakes you. Wow, so we have been completely set up. We need to flip the current objective card. Our new objective is Escape Havarti. Uh, goal, fight your way out of Port Havarti. So supplies plus six. Wow, <laughs> looping over there. And uh, if your hull is uh, less than six, set it to six. Turn to page 57. So, man of war ship, lock action six, guard the captain. Set dial A to 13 and B to three. Okay, so yeah, the, the Navy is here to take us down. Our ship's outmatched in every way. Damaging the enemy's sails will slow them down and let us avoid that cannon fire. It's kill or be killed in this fight, so fire at their hull so we can send them to Davy Jones. So we have been on this page in another situation, in another scenario where we where we had a, a captain of the ship that needed to be protected. Obviously, our captain was a was a a, a double, triple turncoat and uh, isn't here. So the captain dial is at zero, and we don't need to be protecting the captain. Uh, so yeah, we need to take the ship down or try and get away. the 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 hull is a decent thing. So anyway, let's uh, let's get selecting actions. Let's get into it. Eh? Spend too much time thinking. Where did thinking ever get anyone? So rally the crew involves swagger, so I'm definitely doing that. Sideswipe is good, but it does involve uh, it damages the hull. Sideswiping things. So gather the debris. I'm uh, I'm tempted to do. We haven't got any loaded cannons. Why don't we load a cannon and fire it? Surely that is a better thing to do. I'm going to do that. Load cannons, fire because we could load both cannons actually in one go. That's what I'm going for. Okie doke. So. Let's see what this uh, ends up in with Rally the Crew. So swagger plus one, and then do a swagger check, and the higher we roll, the more options we get to pick from. We can't gain any more swagger. We've got plus nine swagger, haven't we? No rerolls still to speak of. So whatever we roll, plus nine. We need 13 for the best option. <laughs> Just one. So that's 10. That lets us choose two, two options. So it's uh, we haven't had this for a while, but it's you know, reroll re -roll one, gain a skill, reroll two, or reduce one of the dials. What if we try and take the ship down? Yeah, we could, um... We could, we could take the sails down first and try and slow them down. That's what we'll do. So that's one option. Reduce the dial. And then do I want a skill or two reroll tokens? I kind of want a skill because it will lead me closer to the stars. I'm going to take an aim, especially because we're going to fire the cannons and get a chance to increase it further in a minute. So I get plus three, remember, an extra plus one thanks to my parrot. So that loops me around and I can cross off an exclamation mark, which is a constellation token. I don't know if I'll get two, three, four, five more uh, spaces need to be crossed off for me to get that last one. And uh, your best ending is doing all of them. 
So we'll see if we can do that by the end. That might involve some risky choices that just get more in for me no matter what. Uh, but we might lose doing that. Okay, so that's the two options there done. Next up is load the cannons that we've seen before. I think I definitely want to... Oh, I definitely want to spend one. Yeah, I'm just going to load one cannon and then get the in for me with the other option to try and get those, uh, those constellation things while I still can. So that's going to be in for me plus one, but I get an extra one. And then spend a supply to... Actually, I should have spent a supply to increase my, uh, my aim when I did as well. So we load one of the cannons, and then fire cannons. So we could, got a chance to increase the aim, a chance to flip a loaded cannon to boost the roll a bit more, and then the higher we roll, the better chance we've got of fighting, the better chance we've got of reducing the dials. So I will take aim plus one, which is another star, so that's another four. So any more infamy will uh, tip me over to another space. Okay then, so... What are we fighting? We've, we're going to do the sails. So I am going to use this. My aim is four, five. So plus five. Who's doing it? Orange is firing the cannons. So we've got plus five to the... Oh, plus five, plus three. So plus eight to this roll. Uh, 18 is your best result. We've just got plus eight at the moment. 11. Wow. Okay, then. So that's reduced the target dial by three, so a bit of overkill there. But then in for me, plus three. That's a bit of a waste because I just uh, loop around and don't gain any more from that. But So four more spaces, but that's going up this whole track four more times. The parrot might make it possible, we'll see. So that's done, and then just uh, gather debris. So that's going to be hunting plus one, and then perform uh, a hunting check. And the higher we roll, the more options we'll get of supplies, treasure, or rerolls. So uh, I can still increase my hunting, so I'll, I'll just do that and hope to just get the best roll possible. So my hunting is plus five, six, seven. That's not too bad. Plus seven here. 11 is the best result. So, yeah, 15. I can use three options. So supplies, treasure, and rerolls. I think we might as well try and get a treasure because that's the same as picking supplies, isn't it? Because we're going to discard one. Uh, so fancy ink quill when you gain one or more swagger. Gain infamy. Oh, it's not, I'm not as excited because I'm full up on swagger, but more chances to gain infamy. It's gaining two infamy, isn't it, that? Maybe we'll get rid of... Oh, what do we get rid of, though? I don't want to get rid of any of this. Get rid of one boosting brawn and exploration, maybe. I want exploration to be increased. I never take scout actions, though, do I? So I still... Discard a treasure and get a supplies. But now gaining swagger wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, so, yeah, so we've had treasure as one option. So I've got two more options I can pick. I think I will take rerolls. So I can increase swagger checks by four as well, even though I have to pick before rolling. Okay, so end of round is eight to seven. Is dial A at zero? No, it's at 13. They attack, uh, roll a die, and add the value of B to the roll. So let's do orange. They roll 9. So 7 to 12. Reduce hull crew and other supplies by a total of 5. So let's do a hull, 3 of them, and a crew. Okay. So 3, 4, 5. That's okay. Uh, increase dial B by 2 and begin a new round on this page again. So we've got to take the ship down. We've got to concentrate on that. Okay, then. So we're going to do, while we've got supplies and stuff, we're going to do side swipe, try and take this ship down. It involves navigation, though. We're going to rally the crew again. Maybe just fire the cannons twice, but we've been missing out on, you know, plus three from, the, the, from loading the cannons. Just, I'm just going to go for that, though. I'm hoping fire the cannons twice is going to lead to better results. That's what we're going to do. We've seen rally the crew. Swagger plus one, which I will take, because that does get me in for me, too. And then let's see what we can roll. So my swagger is seven, eight, nine, and I can increase it, but I'm pretty confident we can get a high roll here. Ten. So I get to choose two things still. So I'll reduce dial... A, uh, that's at 12, and then that's done. 
So then we're firing cannons. It's aim plus one, which, yeah, I think I'll, I'll just keep taking. And, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose A as the target. So my aim is um, five, six on top of the roll. So purple. So 15, that's reduce it by two and get infamy one. I'm happy with that because you need 18 for the top result and it's uh, unlikely, isn't it, without the cannon. So reduce it by two. It's down to 10, still so far away. Maybe we should just all go on fire cannon. Uh, can't increase the aim anymore. So we're just going to have an aim check from blue. And I forget every single time, five plus six to the roll. That is nine, which is just, let's just increase it by one. I think we, we, we should try and re-roll that, I think. Try and reduce it by at least two if we can. Two? Come on, re-roll again. Although maybe it would have been better to re-roll for the, the side swipe. We only had two to the roll there, though. Yeah, we're going to re-roll here. I've already said it, so we're doing it. Twelve. Now that's something I can get behind. What is it? Plus six. Eighteen. Brilliant. Reduce it by three. And infamy plus three. One, two, three, four. Uh, but whatever. Loop around. I'm fine with that. So uh, the last thing is side swipe. So for side swipe, navigation plus one. We're already at the maximum. Then do a navigation check, and the higher we roll, the more we will uh, take down of the enemy ship and get some infamy as well. So hoping for a really high roll here, because we've only got plus two, I think, to navigation. And yeah, I've spent all the re-rolls, haven't I? Yep, it is literally plus two. Come on. It is eight, so that would put us on ten. So hull minus one, reduce dial A by two. So it's on five, infamy plus one. So I get an extra one. And then 827 again. Is dial A at zero? Well, it's close. Can you let me off? Uh, they attack. Apparently not. Roll the die and add the value of dial B to the result. So dial B is just at two. I didn't do anything to dial B. Let's, uh, let's roll for them and then. Come on, it's got to be low. Eight. So that's 10, still in the middle range. Reduce hull crew and supplies by a total of five. So I think... We're going to have to do supplies, so that's two, three, four, five, lose two crew. Oh dear, we might have to do gather debris or something and get some supplies back so we've got stuff to lose. Or we just hope that we can reduce this by five next round. So another round on here. If we rally the crew, I can increase exploration and that would almost get me over the top there. Maybe we shouldn't be thinking about... Desperately trying to get that constellation token when we are close to losing the game. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. So we're gonna swagger. I could even gain. I haven't got supplies to gain a thing though, have I? So yeah, don't think about that. But it would let me. It would get me re rolls and let me reduce dial A. So it's still worth doing, I think. Uh, we haven't got supplies to load the cannons, so just fire them maybe. I don't know if we. We might need sideswipe though, mightn't we? It does need a lower roll. And we get uh, no, we're, we're better. We've got much better aim, haven't we, than navigation. So I think firing the cannons three times is better than doing sideswipe and reducing the hull. So we'll just go for that. So we know about rally. It's a swagger check plus uh, nine on my swagger. So seven plus nine, 16. Could choose three things. So I'm going to choose reduce dial A. And um, two rerolls and one reroll. Because I can't choose the skill because I haven't got any supplies, unfortunately. Really frustrating. I could have, you know, taken another hit on the hull, maybe. But I don't think already three, four, five. Yeah, if we had to lose five things again, we lose the game. So I hope that we can take down the ship with these. With all these reroll tokens, I'm hoping. So fire the cannons. Again, can't increase aim. It's at max anyway, though, isn't it? So aim is plus six. Plus six to my roll. So we're starting out with uh, purple, giving it a go. So four, that will put us on ten. So it would re reduce it by one. I would like more than that. Let's try. Can we do better than that? Ten. That'll do me. So that's sixteen. Uh, reduce it by two and gain infamy plus one. 
and then orange is going to have a crack at it. Six. So that would put us on 12. So let's just reduce it by one. Which is okay. I would I'd try, I'd like to try and get some in for me, maybe. Is this going to be the end when we escape from this? Let's see if we can do better. Seven. So what's that? 13. Ah, oh, we need 14 to go to the next stage. I don't think there's much chance of getting to 18 and in for me. Yeah, if we get in for me plus one, and then we get it again. Because we, we can't... We're guaranteed to reduce the dial, I think. Ah, oh, three. Really, one more time. What do we need? I need an eight or more. It's not very likely, is it? There we go. So we've got 11, 17, that is. One off. So we reduce the dial by two, and then infamy plus one. And then if blue can get us that result as well, roll an eight or more, then we get another step closer to the constellation marker. Roll a 10, perfect. Uh, so that's 16. Reduce it by two, it's already... At oh, we can reduce um, dial B by two, which we would have targeted because there's nothing left on dial A. And we get infamy plus two again, which puts me down there. And I can cross off another thing on the constellation track. And there we go. Let's see what 827 has to say for itself now. Is dial A at zero? Yes. You hear Phillips howl in frustration as her ship buckles from the concussive pounding of your cannons. There is a sound of splitting wood and the ship begins to sink. An explosion from somewhere in the hull sends the aft of the vessel up in fiery ruin, black smoke pouring out and debris raining down around you. All along your ship, the crew cheers, victory. But before you can make good on your escape, Philip's ship shatters to pieces and sailors are thrown as a dark shape smashes through the wreckage, advancing upon you. The flagship of Captain Bloodsack himself, illustrious member of the Grand Pirate Council. You try to turn the ship to avoid him, but it pulls alongside and the fearsome captain is there on the railing of the ship, bellowing at the top of his lungs. Fools! Traitors! You are the death of us all! The Royal Navy may send me to Davy Jones, but by gore I'll send you there first myself! Oh dear. Okay. So, it's not over yet. We have to fight the Pirate King. <laughs> He's gonna try and uh, kill us. And yeah, we are in serious trouble in terms of the crew, the hull, the supplies. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. So we've turned there. We set dials A, B and E to 13. That seems very high. And dial D equal to the number of players. So A is the hull. B is the enemy sails. C is the enemy cannons, which it oh, set, set dial C to 4. D is the enemy crew, and E is the enemy stores. Okay, so we have to try and protect the ship, so that's one of my actions, 100%. We can try and loot the stores to get some supplies, which maybe we should do, because it's going to make me lose supplies when they hit us back, and we have to protect the ship. Oh, I haven't read this bit. It's the king of all pirates, boys and girls, so there's no room for mistakes. We've got to deal with those massive cannons and the sailors who keep swinging over here. If we don't, we're fish food for sure. We might escape them if we can take out their sails. Of course, we could just blast their hull to pieces and burn them into the water. Yeah, either way, that's a lot of stuff to do. So what am I best at? Well, swagger, aim, hunting the best things. We haven't got any supplies to load the cannons with. I think we need to try and loot the stores. I can't increase my exploration though because I won't have any supplies. Try and fire the cannons. Do we? Should we fight the crew? To try and reduce this dial down? I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do it is here. I, I really feel like we need supplies. Let's, if we sabotage the cannons though, we can, if we get a really good result, we could reduce C and D if we get 15, and our hunting is 5, 6, 7, let's go for it. So we know fire cannons, we can't increase our aim, well, because we're at the maximum, and because we haven't got any supplies, uh, so it's just an aim check for orange then, isn't it? So I've got 5, 6 aim, no rerolls. So that's a 9, so 15 that would be. 
And so that decreases the dial by two. What was our firing at, A or B? So the sails, it did say you could take the sails down or... I suppose either way it doesn't matter, does it? We might escape them if we take out the sails or we could blast the hull to pieces. Uh, yeah, let's, let's blast them to pieces. Both, both of the dials are at 13, so let's go for it. And so that's in for me plus one, so two for me. And then sabotage the cannons. So a new action for us here, hunting plus one, then perform a hunting check. The better we do, the more we can decrease the cannons and potentially their crew as well. I can't increase it, but I do have five, six, seven on hunting. So who's that purple? Four plus seven is 11. So where are we? Uh, reduce dial C by two. That's something, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I haven't got a reroll anyway, so I don't know why I'm thinking about whether or not to use one. Uh, loot the stores. So this would be perfect if I had one supply because my next exploration has a star on it and I would get a load of infamy, but uh, I can't do that. So we're just going to have to do an exploration check and the more we roll, the more stuff we get. And we're decreasing their supplies in the process. So my exploration is just plus one, plus two, actually. So that's blue doing this. I can't re-roll it and it keeps going off. That is a nine. It was very, very nearly a one. If I hadn't uh, fallen off this cannon thing. So what have we got? 9, 10, 11. So that's treasure plus 2, supplies plus 2, and decrease dial E by 2. So what, uh, what treasure do we get here? So we've got, first of all, jumbo leeches. You may discard when you would lose one or more crew to lose zero crew instead and gain a discontent. Cannot be buried. And a bag of mojo. Are you focusing properly, camera? After performing a skill check, you may discard one or more reroll tokens to add one to the result for each you discard. So I don't want that, but I get a supply from it. This seems like it could be really good. Even though it increases discontent, if I say have to lose three crew, gaining a discontent is better than losing three crew. So I think get rid of the ink quill. The gaining swagger trick was nice at uh, one point, but it's not time for that anymore. Okay. So finally, protect the ship just says read entry 549. You call out to Captain Bloodsack. Grand Pirate Council? More like Dead Pirate Council! Captain Bloodsack runs over to the railing of his ship and shrieks back at you. That's your fault. You lured us into a trap. And you were stupid enough to fall for it, you brag. Do we really want to say that? A peer whispers. It's better than looking like we were tricked too, you point out. Captain Bloodsack is hopping mad and fires his gun into the air, which is unfortunate because he shoots one of his own sailors out of the crow's nest. <laughs> okay, so uh, reduce dial D by one. What's D? Oh, he's yeah, the enemy crew because he's just uh, he's just shot one of his own crew. Uh, infamy plus three. Okay, so that kind of makes up for not having the the skill unlocked. And lock action six. So we're not uh, having to protect the ship again. And then 829, this is where the bad stuff's going to happen, isn't it? For the end of round. Yeah. Is dial A at zero? It's at 11. Is dial B at zero? It's at 13. Is dial E at zero? It's 11. Or dial C and D at zero? They're, no, they're at two and three. They attack. They attack. There we go. <laughs> Reduce everything by X, the value of C or D, whichever is higher and then reduce hull or crew by one. The hull crew or supplies by a total of three. <sighs> what do we do? We're just going to have to go for supplies, aren't we? And then we need to do hull or crew by one. We've got a bit more leeway on hull, so I'll reduce that by one. Yep. So we've got another round at least. So where's this going to leave us? We don't need to protect the ship anymore. What if we just sabotage the cannons? Because it did ask, didn't it, if C and D were at zero. So why don't we get a couple of people onto there, loot the stores again, and then... So that's mainly C and this one's mainly D, so let's fight the enemy crew, even though that involves brawn and we're not as good at it. C and D going to nothing. We haven't got any rerolls. Just gonna have to be very lucky because I don't think... If, if we loot the stores well again, then... Yeah, so let's just go through it again. You've seen it all zoomed in, so fight enemy... Oh, fight enemy crew's a new one. It's a brawn check, and uh, the higher we do, the, the more we reduce the dial by and get some infamy and stuff. But if we roll badly, we lose a crew. <laughs> we do have plus three 
on the brawl, and that's it, plus three. Couldn't we have, when we needed to lose all of that stuff, we needed to lose three supplies, couldn't we have... I think we could have lost three crew and just discarded this instead instead of losing any crew, but we would have gained a discontent. And now I say that, this action would be too risky to do because you can potentially lose a crew doing it because we only get plus three. And if we roll one to five, yeah, we would lose the game. So I'm not going to do that take back that I just thought of. We've got, yeah, we've got one crew leeway at the moment, which we don't want to lose. And we don't want to roll a really low number. 11, that's what I like to see. So 11, 14, yeah, 14. Uh, so reduce dial D by two. Ah, uh, reroll. Oh, uh, no, infamy plus two, so plus three for me. But uh, yeah, we just cross off the thing. We are so close to the last constellation token if we uh, survive the game, of course. So now we have uh, sabotage the cannons again. It's a hunting check, and so I've got plus five, six, seven. I've got plus seven. If we roll a fifteen or more, then we reduce both of these dials. Any less than that, and we're just going to be reducing C. Okay, then. Seven. Was that what I said we needed? What have I got? Five, six, seven. Oh, that's just short, isn't it? Fourteen. Just set C down. Oh, I wish I hadn't looted the stores. Oh, wait a minute. We've got two unsabotaged cannons. Yeah, that was, on, that was just the first one, wasn't it? Oh, but to reduce dial D at all... Yeah, purple's now got to roll eight or more. Okay, so it's not all over. We've got a chance. Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's a uh, reduced dial C by zero, which we can't do. Never mind. <laughs> that's a glimmer of hope. <laughs> Extinguished pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I wish, I wish I'd just put someone uh, more on f fire enemy crew, one more instead of sabotage cannons, but I couldn't have known it was, uh, was going to go that way. Okay, so loot stores, exploration check, and... Um, my exploration is just two on top of whatever I roll. Hopefully I don't roll really low. Two. So that's a total of four, which means uh, lose a crew. So I think this may well be over. Okay, eight, two, nine again, let's see. Fingers crossed. Is dial A at zero? No, what chance have I got of doing that? And B, no. Is uh, E at zero? No. A C and D at zero. They're so close to being. Can you let me off? No. They attack. Okay, so reduce everything by uh, the value of C or D, whichever is higher. Whole crew or supplies. Because I didn't gain any supplies either. So not only did we lose a crew, we didn't get a supplies. And so... Yeah, at this late stage... We've lost. Because... I need to lose what I can't lose a crew because we would lose the game. I can't lose a supply because we haven't got any. So the higher of C or D, I need to lose one thing. I need to lose a hull. But then after that, I need to reduce hull or crew by one and begin a new round. So that would reduce it to zero. So, right. So the, the official word is we've lost this game. Okay. That's, uh, that's just how it goes. But we're so close to the end. I'd, I'd like to just keep going. So, with the caveat that officially, for whatever that matters, we've lost, I'm going to do a reroll for action number five here. And yeah, if we get anything, we can carry on for one more round. So, there we go, 11. So, that would give us treasure plus two and supplies plus two. So, the treasure, after performing a hunting check, get um, aim plus one, discard to gain. Supplies plus two, or upgrade a cannon by one level. So I think I'm going to discard these two for two supplies, and keep this one. And then I'm going to discard it to gain two more supplies. So we've got... So now we need to lose one... We can lose one supplies, and then we need to lose a hull or a crew. So I'll lose a hull. So we get one more round in it, even though, yeah. <laughs> I, I know... This is, uh, this is, uh, had a little cheat, but you want to see the end? I do. Okie doke then. So we need to keep going at the cannons and stuff, I imagine. So we're going to loot the stores to try and keep the things and try and get my infamy up. We're going to load the cannons to, to load the cannons and try and get some rerolls. We need to lower 
We need to fight the crew for D, don't we? And we'll fire the cannons to try and get A or B down. Okay, so loading the cannons. So one is going to be uh, load a cannon for a supply. And the other, since the crew is so low, we're going to get a reroll token. Because if we roll really low on fight the enemy crew, then we're out. Okay, fire the cannons. Aim plus one, I can't increase that. We've got plus six. I'm going to flip this. We've got plus nine to the roll. Take it away. Masked pirate. So that's 13. That's going to reduce a dial by one. I don't want to waste the reroll on that. I am a bit gutted. A is still at 10. Uh, so fight the enemy crew. Brawn plus one. Uh, we could gain that. I want to make sure I've got um, supplies in to increase my exploration because that will give me a load of uh, infamy. Uh, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to fight the crew. Blue is at least. And uh, yeah, we've got plus four. We've just got plus four. So if we roll a one, that's the only way we could lose a crew if we rolled a one. So I've rolled a 12. So uh, 12 plus four, so 16. Reduced dial D by three. Infamy plus four. One, two, three, four, five. That's very nice. Although, yeah, my next gaining of infamy is going to be a little bit wasted here. But hey, it's, that's okay, isn't it? So loot stores, exploration plus one. Uh, I'm going to increase it just because I want uh, the... So I've got my full... Oh, that's all I needed as well. I thought I had one more space, but that's, that's all of my... So if we win this game, I, I know there's, you know, technically we lost, blah, blah, blah. but um, uh, yes, in this, uh, in this alternate universe, you know, as Arbed would remind you, when we rolled this die, we made 12 different timelines and uh, we are just living in one of those other timelines now. So we want, um, we've had exploration plus one, we want to roll it, so I just get, I get plus three to the roll. So seven, that, that's ten, so treasure plus one, supplies plus one, and reduce dial E again. So the treasure is a puffy blouse. Uh, now that's a puffy shirt. Uh, so like it does give me more swagger, doesn't it? I'm going to take a hit on the... <laughs> I don't need more swagger. Let's... Uh, oh, I, I've got... I've got I've, I, I can't discard any, actually. I've got space for a treasure. So I can't discard it for a supplies. So that's all of that. Did I gain the supplies? I think I did. Okay, then. So... Do we survive this? I did have my reroll token. What what did I roll? I think we ended up with 10. Do I want to reroll it so I would get more supplies? No, I think we'd be okay. Let's have a look. It's uh, 8, 2, 9. Yeah? Is dial A at 0? No. Nor is B. Is E at 0? No. Is C and D at 0? Yes. Just as you feel you're getting the upper hand on the enemy crew, more pour out of their brig. Oh, okay, so that uh, was a bit of a red herring. So I need to reduce supplies. Okay, now it really is over then, isn't it? <laughs> so even with that cheat. So yeah, that gets ticked up to one. And, I mean, we can lose the supplies here. But then we need to reduce the hull or the crew by one. And, yeah, we can't do that. So, unfortunately, I hate to do this so far in. Well, I haven't done it. Uh, Dice and stuff have done it. Uh, yeah, that's that's just it, I'm afraid. I, I tried to keep it going uh, a little bit longer. But yeah, you're just going to have to play yourself if you want to see uh, what is uh, going to happen here. So what should we do? Uh, crew or hull? Let's see. Uh, odd or even? Let's uh, roll the die and see what we uh, take the damage on. It's going to be on crew. So the crew are going to get discontent and we're going to have an ending based on that. What are you doing? You demand as the crew begins to tie you up. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Says Kira Kite Whistle with mock concern. We assumed you knew. There's some mutiny. We're taking over the ship. You lot are gonna get us killed. So instead, we're just gonna shoot your bunch in the head and then start doing things our way. Wait, there's no need for this. Let's make a deal. Uh, we have treasure we can give you. Great! She says cheerfully. I'll look for it after you're dead. And with that, she opens fire. And there we go. Yeah, maybe more time should have been taken firing the cannons and stuff. Well, of course that should have happened. Uh, but having more cannons and having them loaded and ready and stuff. Yeah. We're not in a very good state towards the end. But hey, 
that's just the way it goes. It's a bit strange having a mutiny at this point when, uh, yeah, we are uh, all just, we need all hands on deck trying to fight the Pirate King that is trying to kill us as the boat is on, you know, its last legs and stuff. But yeah, there we go. That's all we can do. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of epic journey through uh, Forgotten Waters. Part two didn't quite go as long as I thought it would or hoped it would. But there we go. That is our entire adventure. That is the sorry tale of Dusty Sequence. So we never got to. Let's just, you know, assuming that we we, we won't read through, you know, the the ending and stuff, uh, the positive ending of the scenario. But since, you know, this is a one off, unless I printed another one off uh, the Internet. (laughs) But uh, let's let's pretend for a second that uh, Dusty Sequence won because I would have gotten the legendary ending for crossing off all the stuff on my constellation chart. You might say that such a focus on my constellation chart is one of the reasons that we lost the game. <laughs> but hey, those people are naysayers. So the ending, the, the ending that might have been in yet another parallel universe. You gather a great many tales for the Count and his court as you travel the high seas, not to mention a decent amount of treasure. Each year you tell yourself you just need a few more months at sea before you can return but before you know it, you have grown old. Eventually, Lacey Bedspread gives you a ship of your own, and Randy Pancakes serves as your first mate. Your ship earns a reputation for being one of the most festive and colourful on the sea, and many merchant vessels fall to your jolly gang of pirate jesters. After your death, the plays and tales you told aboard the ship are retold around the world for generations. Wouldn't that have been nice? But instead, uh, we were shot in the head by our own crew, which uh, is uh, a lovely piratey tale in itself, isn't it? So there we go with Forgotten Waters. I thoroughly enjoyed that playthrough. I hope that you did too. Well, I'm hoping that since you (laughs) came back for more that you did. Uh, But if you would like to know what I think and you haven't seen that yet, then that is uh, linked in the usual places. Your support and Patreon and subscribing and stuff is massively, massively appreciated. And I will see you wherever you end up. Till we meet again. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.